guys. I'm at Ningxia Night Market and this is the best street market ever. So we are now at Ningxia Night Market and the thing is that this night market here is super packed. There's so many people. It's one of the most popular night market here in Taiwan. Uh, there are a few dishes that I really wanted to try including their Michelin Guide stores which I'll share with you guys in a bit. But right now the crowd is insane. Let me show you guys how packed it is. It's 8.30pm now in Taiwan and this place is open until 1am. Plenty of people. It's not a super big market here but this place is still fully packed with people I wouldn't be surprised because the thing is that some of the stores here are super popular appearing on like Michelin Guide uh, which later on I'll probably go and hunt okay let me try and see if I can get into the center of the market to show you guys what are some of the food stores available here so this is how it's like walking through the whole alley so anyways looking around uh, you can see that I'm being surrounded by different food stores at any point in time, you can stop, you can look at what you want to order and get your food. So the moment you stop and order, right, you pretty much have to move to one side. Because if you stop moving, you're going to hold up everybody that's behind you. You can see that behind me, there's literally so many people. This here looks amazing. It's a pancake that has noodles wrapped in it. Hi, uh, can you give me a... It's a pancake that's filled with like noodles. Hopefully it's not too filling. Okay, I'm not too sure what sauce that they have on top of it. Could be teriyaki, could be sweet sauce or something. But I'm gonna try it and let you guys know how it tastes. So, it's the rocky sauce at the top, cheese, beef, noodles, a bit of veggies inside. It's actually really good. Mm. The flavor of it is very balanced. The cheese makes it very thick. When you put it in your mouth and you eat it, you really feel that the noodles are being coated with the cheese. It feels like a nacho cheese sauce kind of cheese. But I know, I'm going to try again. Let's see. Mm. It's my first time having something like this. But the taste is so unique. At first, when you put it in your mouth, you taste the teriyaki sauce. A bit sweet. And then as you start chewing, the pancake is very crispy. And as soon as you get to the middle part, that's where you get all your flavors of like the noodles, the beef, the cheese. I'm not too sure is it like nacho cheese or is it like American cheese or something like that. But it tastes like nacho cheese to me. Or maybe they're using a few different cheese in it. Yeah. I'll rate this like a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's quite a filling dish. After I eat this, it's going, I'm going to be quite full. This is 110 Taiwan dollars. So it's about $4-ish. Mm, they have a few really popular dishes. And they are the kimchi cheese pork, Thai pork spicy, Thai cheese pork. In this case, I got the beef cheese. So this is their most popular dishes. Apparently, the kimchi cheese pork is the most popular one. Yeah, overall, it's a good start to the store, the first food store. I'm going to be finishing this up and let's go and try the other food stores. So the thing is that now that we have finished our first store, I'm in queue for the next store. And this next store is another Michelin Guide place that serves like taro balls. So they have like salted egg yolks. I'm going to try both and this is how they make it. It looks super amazing. It looks really nice. You guys can see that the queues for this it never ends, all right? As soon as we move forward, there's another whole wave of queue coming in again. They actually fry it in this paper bag, 
Like I said, this is a Michelin Guide store that's very popular for their taro balls. There's two different ones. One is your normal fried taro ball, and the other one comes with a pickled egg inside. This is how it looks like on the inside. Michelin Guide store, you have to be excited for this. So I'm going to try it. Mm. Can you see it? The salted egg inside. There's taro on the inside. There is the pickled egg and there is a bit of a... Is it pork floss or chicken floss? Yeah, there's a bit of floss inside. The first thing that comes to mind when eating this is oni. So this tastes like oni, but it's less sweet in that sense. Let me try again. Mm. This time I got a bite of the salted egg yolk in it. Yeah, it tastes good. Oh, it's not super heavy. Maybe because I'm quite used to, to eating like pretty heavy food. But this as a dessert is, it can be filling to some people. But to me, I think it's all right. I'm going to get a bigger bite. Mm. So I'm going to try the original one without the salted egg at the top. Yep. I actually prefer the salted egg one over the original one. I feel that the salted egg one gives it a lot more flavor to it. It's like a bit of that sweet and salty combo. It's good guys. If you are here and you are a fan of Oni, make sure to check out the store and try it out yourself. I'm going to see what other food stores there are. Hey, uh, Kiwaika Ah. Ah, okay. Ah, pao jia. Okay, can. This is what kind of wei? Is it red wei or is it red hu jiao? Red hu jiao. Red hu jiao is a bit hot. A bit hot. Ah, okay. Can. Thank you. Um, this store itself they serve um their own homemade sausages. Earlier on, the queue was so long, and I'm just glad to be able to like snack up one of it. Don't ask me why we are back at the same place again, but because it's so hard to eat and explain to you guys while walking at the same time carrying the camera. A very, very popular sausage store that produces their own sausage from scratch, grilled over charcoals and wrapped with like rice. So this is, this is how it looks like, okay? Your sausage, you've got the rice and you've got a bit of that, is it cucumber or something like that? First bite, let's try out. Mm. The black pepper for the sausage, definitely very peppery. Um, what they also put in it is pickles. It's a very, very nice combination. I can see myself getting full after eating like two of these. Because a rice and a sausage combination may be quite heavy for some, but you can see that in the rice inside, there's a bit of filling. There's like some lap chong inside. The sausage itself, very fat, very chewy, has a lot of bounce to it. Flavors are great. This is honestly a very yummy sausage. In supermarket, they sell those deep red ones. This one takes it to another level, okay? It's not the same, it's not the same at all. This is one of my favorite sausage now. Oh, it's so good. Mm, I'm super full. I usually don't eat too much, but let's explore one more store, okay? What's a better way to sum up the night market experience? To eat a peanut ice cream roll. The queue was super long, so I'm going to end off with this um, peanut ice cream roll. So let me show you guys the experience. So that's what he does. He grinds up the peanut, and then he puts it onto the popia skin, spreads it all out, and then he scoops an ice cream, puts it in the middle. Most likely it's two scoops of ice cream. Nice, that looks great. Kai, and that's a coriander. I'm a believer of just eat everything. Coriander and ice cream. Oh, look at that. It's so big that it's actually bursting out. So guys, there we have it. Your ice cream, peanut roll that you have. Uh, very, very popular in Taiwan. If you are here, definitely do not miss out on this. Um, try out for sure. And I'm going to take my first bite into this. First taste test. Mmm. Mmm. 
this is on another level. It's yummy. Uh, am I just weird for finding like every food that I put into my mouth yummy? Mmm. Look at that. Love the coriander, love the peanuts. Here is the entire experience of me in... Wait, what's the night market name again? Uh, okay, Ning, Ning Xia Night Market. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I do not know how did I actually become a food vlogger. If you guys enjoy, don't forget to hit a subscribe button. I think this will probably be one of my final videos here in Taiwan documenting on my food experience. I will see you guys again very soon. Take care everyone.